everyone and welcome back so today i'm back with another video and what we are going to be building today is i'm going to show you how we can create those component in react and we're not going to use any css framework this is just pure css as you can see here we have our button of success danger info and warning if i click success we have those right here in the bottom right you can see after three seconds they'll be gone and if I click danger, we get a danger. If I click info, info, warning, warning. Okay, we have different styling. And also, if I click X here, they will be they will be gone. Okay, so that's what we are going to be building. So simple, guys. So let's get started. I'm going to stop the final project first. Close that, and I'm going to. Go to my VS Code here, and in here I have already generated create React app with yarn. You can also use npx. And the first thing that what we need to do is I'm going to remove couple file that we don't need. Let's remove everything here. Just leave the index and app.js file. I'm gonna remove everything, and let's go to the index here. I'm gonna remove the report web files here and get rid of this index.css let's save and let's close go to the app.js file in here i'm gonna remove the header let's just say h1 for now and i'm gonna say react those let's say component and let's remove the class name here let's remove everything up here save now let's run the app say yarn start or npm start As you can see now we have this okay so in this video i'm gonna use a css model so let's create the css from for the app component here so we can say app dot model dot css okay and in here I'm going to let's just go to app.js first. I'm going to import. Let's say styles. You can give any name you want. Let's say from dot slash app dot model dot css. Okay. Oh really? Last name set that equals to I'm gonna say styles dot root. Okay. Let's go to app here and I'm going to say root if i change the background to red for example now everything should be right here okay so we don't need red here i want to just change the font family to arial health vedega sun serif and what else i'm going to make that center so align this item center this will be why there's not center x or text i think text align yeah here we go so here i'm gonna create a div again let's give a class name here so that equals to i'm gonna say styles dot button okay so here we are going to render the button component which is the four button in here so let's go to source here. I'm gonna create folder called components folder. And inside in here, I'm gonna create two folder. By the way, first is button, and the second should be the toes. Okay. So in button, we need to create the file called button.js, and in toes, we are gonna create file called toes.js. All right. In button here, I'm gonna say RFCE, hit enter. Now we have functional task component. And in here, I'm just want to say, uh, I just want to render the button here so we can just simply remove everything. I think we can just remove everything here and we can just say button. All right, so I'm going to grab the children, say children and showing the children as a button name right here 
Okay, I'm gonna show you how this work. Let's go back here. And in here, I'm gonna return, I'm gonna render the button. Okay. If I hit enter, now as you can see, we have automatically import up here. Just change the position to top. And what I mean, what that's mean about the children. Children is everything you type in inside this uh, component here. Okay. If I do, for example, say success, if I hit enter, now we should have button with text success. That's mean about the children here. Okay. Hope that makes sense. So let's create a couple button here. Let's say danger. I think info here. And this is going to be warning. Okay. Let's just save and now we have this button right there. Alright, so now let's go to button here. I'm going to create the style. Okay, so let's say button dot model dot CSS. So in button here, I'm gonna give a class name. Class name set it equals to. Let's import that first. So import styles from dot slash button dot model dot CSS. All right. Let's bring in here. Let's say styles dot button. Okay. Let's just save. Go to button here. I'm going to create the button class for the styling. And in here, we need to say margin. Top and bottom, I'm going to say zero. And left and right, I'm going to say zero point two ramp. Just make it space like so. Okay, and also we can um, uh, text transform, I think. Text that to uppercase, and here we go. Okay, you can also change the cursor if you want. It's a pointer. Here we go. All right, so let's close the model button button dot model dot CSS and uh, app dot model dot CSS right there. So now we need to render integrate the toast JS file first. R I F C E. Let's re import. Let's say H one here. Let's say toast. Save. Let's go back to app here. And right here, I'm going to render the toes. Hit enter, this will be automatically import up here. Okay, pretty cool. So now we have a button and a toe right there. All right, cool. Let's add handle click here as a prop so we can say handle click. Set that equals to, that will be a row function. And I'm going to run the another function here, which is show uh, toes, All right? And I'm gonna create the show toes function up here. Let's say cons show toes so that it goes to our function here. Uh, for now, I just wanna say to say lock uh, show toes, okay? So now let's go to button here. We need to grab the handle click. Uh, handle click. And we need to add event listener in this button here. I'm going to add on click event. On click event. So that equals to this handle click. Okay, if I save, I hope when I. Uh, click the success button this function is fire okay, we we will see show those in the console and now if i click the success we get show those right there okay that's mean this handle click fire so now we need to uh, when i click the success button here i want to send the props in this toast okay that will be come from the state. I want to create state first here. 
let's say cons place set lace set that equals to use state I'm going to auto import right here change that to very top and by default I'm gonna set that to empty array okay so in here I'm gonna remove the console and right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say set lace uh, I'm gonna create another variable in here let's say let those properties okay set that equals to null for the first time and inside this function I'm going to give a uh, those properties to value this object and I'm gonna say let's say ID one let's say the title okay the title of the post will be I'm gonna say success say success let's give a description description into say this is a success those component it's just a background I cannot typing background by the way background color let's set it into let's say 5cb 5c all right let's just give a comma here and everything is good so here we need to send the toast property okay remember that if we click this success button we run this show toss okay this function will be run and we give this state value so by a lock the list we should have the value when I click the success first time it will be empty array if I click success you can see we get the value here okay so next I'm going to send the value into the toast here let's say toast list set that equals to let's say list set equals to list okay so we grab the value in here all right let's say list yeah list toss right cool not list toss but toss list i think okay let's put it here so now let's map through this toss list uh array in here i'm gonna say toss list dot map i'm going to grab the individual toes and the index and it we should put like so and i'm going to return to sx in here let's put a div so inside in here i'm gonna give a e so that equals to the index and i'm going to give a style so that equals to i'm going to grab the uh toast background color basically in here we can say background color not clip color set that equals to i'm gonna set that to toast dot background color okay we grab this value here all right so inside this div here we have a button this is for the x right you can say x here and down here you can create another div and we can create a paragraph here i'm gonna say going to be post dot the title and also we need to render the description okay so i think it's fine now save and let's take a look if i refresh if I click success now we get uh, it's like a model pop up right here <laughs> okay so the first thing that we need to create the css file here let's say toast.model.css 
okay and we need to import that first in this toast component here let's say import import let's say files from 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 dot slash those slash dot model model dot css okay so let's go to first div here i'm going to say class name set that equals to i'm going to use backtick here and the first thing that i'm going to say files dot container and then i'm going to add another uh, class here let's say styles i'm going to grab the position okay position all right so position is basically props that require to uh, send in this toast component i'm going to put that here and we should add uh i'm going to close the button uh position here and i'm gonna say bottom desk right okay now we save and we grab this position we put that in here okay so let's go to the style and i'm going to grab the container first and i'm gonna change the font size let's say font size into 40 pixel and if i want to say let's give a position to fix and i'm gonna say z index into say 10 and i'm going to grab the position okay, in this case it's bottom right okay let's do bottom this right i'm gonna do here let's say bottom to one ram I'm gonna say right into one ram as well. Okay, if I save, that will be go to down here. Okay, every time I click success, it's gonna be showing the toes in the bottom right. The another thing that let's add another styling here. Let's add class name in this div here. Let's say class name set that equals to. I'm going to say say styles i'm going to use spectic here i think so we can say styles dot notification also i'm gonna say styles dot post okay and let's go to uh, the title and the description i think we should add another class name here let's say class name set that equals to styles dot title title and right here say class name set that equals to styles dot description okay let's go to the css let's grab the notification notification and in here i'm gonna say margin this bottom into i'm going to give a space between the toast component and i'm going to give a border radius into let's say three pixel and i'm gonna say let's just give a box shadow to make that cool let's say zero zero and pixel and the color let's say 999 and i'm gonna change the color let's say black and also i'm gonna say opacity into 0 0.9 and i think that's it let's see save and let's see this is what we have and also i want to add the uh, width right here i'm gonna say hake let's say 50 pixel and the width i'm gonna say 165 pixel you can use ram by the way but anyway let's say color to white and let's give a padding here let's give a padding here 
20 pixel to the top right 50 pixel uh, bottom i'm gonna say 10 pixel and bottom again oh the left 10 pixel okay let's save and let's see this is what we have for now so next let's styling this uh, button here i'm going to put the button right here so let's grab the button we can say container button let's say float into right i'm gonna say background to none okay and i'm gonna say the border none and also i'm gonna change the color to white and let's say opacity into 0 0.8 and also i'm gonna make cursor pointer now this is what we have all right so pretty cool um i'm not sure but why the description is not showing right here description see in the app here description oh, really now save and we should see the description now so let's click there we go let's styling the title and the description so i'm gonna do here let's grab the title the title i'm gonna change the font wake into 700 let's give a font size i'm gonna say 60 pixel say text align into left and margin top i'm gonna say zero and also give a margin bottom into six pixel i'm gonna give a width let's say 300 pixel and also hake into 10 pixel now save this is what we have all right so next let's dial in this uh, description class let's go to description i'm gonna say margin to zero and let's say let's align into left save and bam okay so pretty cool now i want to make it a uh, hover effect in this uh, i will forget uh, the notification class all right so i'm gonna add that in here let's say notification hover i'm gonna say box shadow into zero zero twelve pixel and let's say white here and i'm going to change the opacity to one as well so also i need to add the transition here transition into 0 0.3 second and is okay now save and if i hover here as you can see we have the transition right here okay pretty cool so the next thing that I'm going to show you is I want to if I click success here the toes is going to be come from the right okay so let's add the uh, keyframes I'm going to add that down here let's say keyframes let's just give a name toes right let's say toes in right Okay, so in here I'm gonna say from and let's say to. All right, it's gonna be come from let's say translate. Let's say I'll translate here. I'm gonna say transform and translate here. That will be translate horizontally. I'm gonna say 100%. And then let's just copy and put that into here and I'm gonna say zero here okay to use this toes in right keyframes we can just simply go to the uh, let's say bottom right here I'm gonna say animation let's put the name here 
those in right and just give a uh, 0 0.7 second so now as you can see they will become from the right the clicks I'm not sure why the animation is not working um, let's try to go to toes here uh, which we should also need to put these tiles in here like so now we save and let's refresh if I click that it'll be come from the right side okay that's what we want okay so now let's just go back to app here okay we need to let's say here we need to say uh, success okay because this is a success button and we need to just copy everything here and we can just put that right here right here and right here so this is going to be ranger and let's say info let's say a warning we save and in this function here we should add a switch to check the you know to check the string here that we send in right here so let's grab the type here okay and the first thing that we need to do let's say switch I'm gonna check the type and in here I'm gonna say if the case is success okay I want to just copy everything here and put that right here like so so let's uh, add the break okay that's the switch work and we need to just copy this case and put that right here uh, I think let's put it something like that and in here I'm gonna say another case with like so and we need to change the success here into uh, maybe danger we should change this success into uh, danger this is a danger toast component and we also need to change the background color into say d9 say 534f okay so let's just copy this and for another condition let's paste that here and this is for the info let's change that let's say info let's say title to info and the description this is the uh, info toast component and the uh, color let's say 5pc0de okay and the last thing is that should be the warning let's just copy here is that right here in here we need to change that to warning let's change that the title to warning let's say this is a warning toast component change the background color into f0ed4e all right so and the last thing is let's make it like so and the last thing is we need to say default okay default and say those properties set it to empty right here finally down here we need to set lace into we grab the list existing from the state here and we add with new host property okay i think that's it so now let's try to save here and let's see what we have I click success oh wait, what happened here Wait, 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 what happened? Click success.
Alright, that's happened because by default we set the list to empty array here. So we need to uh, destructuring here. Let's grab the value. Okay, the value of the array. We grab the object basically here. So let's refresh. If I click success, we can success danger danger info. Alright, everything will be fine here. Awesome. Okay, so next let's work with. Uh, toast.js component here I'm going to make it bigger so you can see clearly here so what we need to do now is we need to if I click the X button here right here I want to remove the toes okay so let's add on click in this button here let's say on click set it equals to I'm gonna use arrow function here because we are gonna send uh, ID in the delete function delete toast function and I'm going to say toast.id. Alright, so let's create this delete toast function. I'm going to create that up here. Let's say cons delete toast set that equals to. I'm going to use a callback here. And I'm going to grab the ID. And in here, what I'm going to do, let's uh, give a dependency, which is toast list. Okay, so inside in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called toast, let's say toast list item, set that equals to, I'm going to grab the toast list, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to filter, and right here, I'm going to say e, I'm going to check if e.id is not equals to the ID that we send here okay but before we do this I just want to log the ID I just want to make sure that we have a correct ID let's go back to the browser here let's refresh I'm going to click a couple time let's click here we get a one that's cool get a one 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 that's something wrong here it is because here we said the ID is always one. That's the problem. Uh, if you want, you can use a UUID, but in my case now, I just want to uh, let's just copy everything. I think Control D here. Okay, and I'm going to change that into uh, list dot and I'm going to say plus one. Okay, so let's try that again. Refresh. If I click everything here, let's click this, we get a 1, we get a 2, we get a 5. Pretty cool. So now let's go back to here. I'm going to send the set list function into the toes here. Let's say set list, set it goes to set list. And go back to here and I'm going to say set list. Okay, so now let's get rid of this console and this toast list that will be have a value that we don't click okay if we for example click this success this one here this toast list if you go, this toast list item if you console that we just have this for uh object here okay that's all gonna be it so in here i'm going to say set list into new uh, array, array here okay which is toast no toast list which is toast should be toast toast list item okay so now save and let's give a shot here uh has a missing dependency we should add dependency here toast list like so uh, not not toast list uh, but set list that's a lot of list list now save and refresh as you can see if i click the success here they will be gone if i click info the info is gone okay if i click warning here the warning is gone all the warning is gone all right so that's pretty cool all right so now what I want to do is I want to delete the toes 
after for example three seconds okay so let's do that down here so we can use use effect okay let's say use effect this use effect here will be fire every time the toast list change okay so in here i'm going to create variable called interval i'm going to set it equals to let's say set interval and in here there will be arrow function so in here i'm going to set that to 3000 millisecond which is three second and then here i'm going to say if if the toast list dot length which is we have the at least one toast i want to say delete toast and we grab the zero and the id okay so let's do down here we need to return the function and we can say clear interval like so and we put the interval here so now save let's give a shot react hook use effect has missing dependency delete those let's put the delete those here save and refresh everything clean in the console I click success after three seconds nothing happened really no not gone there's something problem here let's take a look here <laughs> what i'm doing here it's going to be toast list zero and id so let's refresh and do that again pretty cool all right so i think we're done with this toast component with react and i hope you learn something new if you like this video please give a like don't forget to subscribe and i put all this code in description if you want to download that and yeah see you in the very next video and bye